require for fit. And when we talk about fit, we're looking specifically at making sure that the candidate is really a culture fit for your organization, but it's also a fit for the role. Specifically, when I think about how you can start to, to move the needle here and make some really good improvement quickly, is like Donna mentioned, when, you, when you're serving your employees or you know, getting them into a room and being able to talk and connect with them, ask your employees, how would they describe their job? What would they describe working like at your company? And maybe even ask them like, why do you like working here? Or what is it that you love so much about your specific role? Because what that employee is gonna be giving you is they're gonna be giving you nuggets of knowledge that you can then use to sell future candidates on why they should want to work for you. In the same time, you're also able to help identify like, how do you describe your company culture? What does that look like? You know, what are your core values? What is your purpose and your mission statement and, and all that fun stuff? Because it really does matter for a lot of people. In today's world, candidates care more about the type of company that they work for versus the actual role. So they say, I don't care what role you're gonna give me, but I really, really wanna be a part of your organization. The second thing is I tell people in interviews, you always wanna get real. And by talking about getting real, it's really about um, your interviewing tactic and asking for specific examples to go deep. Especially for those that are in the service industry, you know that customer service is a huge part of your business. So instead of asking a candidate in an interview, what does good customer service look like? I would ask them the question of, can you tell me about a time or tell me, give me an example of the best service that you've given to a customer and have them walk you through that example. Because a lot of the times in interviews, just like on resumes, a lot of times people lie. It's a brutal fact. People are tend to lie or can fabricate or over-exaggerate things. But when you ask for those specific examples and ask those open-ended questions, you're able to make sure that you are really getting a good idea of how good of a person this is, not just for your organization, but can they do the job as well? And then the last piece as well, and you know, Donna talked a lot about development and wanting to take on more opportunity. Invite your best employees to be a part of your hiring process. If you think about your best employee that's been with you for a very long time, that you know is like your model employee, invite them to come in and sit in on the interviews. And at the end of that interview, ask that employee, can you see yourself working with this person? Do you think that they would be a great fit for this team? Right, and oftentimes if the answer is no, it's very, it's a very telling sign. But again, you're giving you know someone in your organization an opportunity to grow, but you're also getting an objective third party to come in and take a look at it from the outside perspective. We actually do that here at ProService as part of our hiring process, and it's actually been proven for us to make sure that we're hiring the right individuals. Again, not not just for the role, but also for our company culture too.